Pop singer Dua Lipa boldly said on Sunday that she does not mime after being accused by fans of lip-syncing during her main stage performance at Glastonbury. Playing the famed Pyramid stage was a dream come true for the 28-year-old. However, she was accused of not truly singing on stage during her Friday night performance in front of tens of thousands of people. She dismissed the criticism, though, when our reporter met up with her yesterday in the VIP area. I don't mime, the Grammy Award winner declared, raising a glass to her big break with her 34-year-old boyfriend, actor Callum Turner, in a private bar at the Worthy Farm Festival grounds. The couple, who were 10 miles from Glastonbury, were spotted snuggling passionately after leaving their opulent hotel. She carried a 1,600-pound satin Prada bag adorned with crystals and wore a black skirt and white vest top. She accessorized the ensemble with large black boots. On Friday night, viewers of the BBC's coverage of the event accused the singer of lip-syncing. Can you imagine spending that much money to travel to Glastonbury just to watch Dua Lipa mime the song without actually singing it? How awful! remarked someone. Dua Lipa delivering a top of the pops mime set, another person commented online. It's unfortunate that hashtag Dua Lipa isn't able to perform live, someone commented on X, the previous Twitter. Don't show up miming at Glasto. Junk. Another person commented, saying, I'm pretty sure Dua Lipa is lip syncing, but she has some decent catchy tunes. Although it seems like a live performance, I'm not sure she's singing it right now. Knowledgeable authorities dispute the mime assertion. Many giant Palestine flags were flown so near to the stage during Ms. Lipa's performance that they were visible on the venue's big screens as well as on the BBC's coverage. The musician has previously called on foreign leaders to assist in defusing the situation between Israel and Gaza. During her performance, which featured popular songs like Levitating, she didn't address the war explicitly, but it did seem as though she ran out into the crowd to sing closer to a flag that said, Glasto for Palestine. She asked her 88 million Instagram followers to, show your solidarity with Gaza, in a post made last month. Children's burning alive is never acceptable. To halt the Israeli slaughter, people all throughout the world are mobilizing. Kindly express your support for Gaza, she posted on Instagram. The singer's two-hour performance at Glastonbury attracted many watchers, who praised it on social media as magical. Dua Lipa smashed it, and, actually, Dua Lipa's been pretty good. Though her voice is all that I know, One Kiss has a better voice than I anticipated. Anticipate her appearance in the Sunday afternoon legend slot in around 25 years. As she took to the pyramid stage, Dua declared that she had fantasized, my whole life, of being the main attraction at the Glastonbury Festival. The pop sensation used stunning dancing to introduce her first headline act at the British Festival. Training Season is the smash song from her third studio album, Radical Optimism, which was released earlier this year. I can't believe this, I've dreamed about this my entire life, she exclaimed to the gathering. She performed before a boisterous audience, who were belting out the lyrics to her 2018 song One Kiss with Calvin Harris. Pop icon Emily Evies, who organizes Glastonbury, claimed the singer was born to be the festival's main act. Model Cara Delevingne, actress Anya Taylor-Joy, and actor Alexa Chung were among the other famous people spotted at the festival. Maya Jama, a TV presenter, was also seen with Stormzy, her rapper boyfriend. A few other festival attendees chose to attend the shows in outrageous costumes, one even dressed as a kangaroo. It was Coldplay's fifth festival performance as the main act on the Pyramid stage on Saturday. Two industry veterans had performed earlier. On the main stage, pop superstar Cindy Lauper performed favorites including Girls Just Wanna Have Fun. In addition, actor Russell Crowe arrived quickly on Friday to make his festival debut. He performed with his band, Indoor Garden Party, on the acoustic stage. Yesterday's surprise appearance was rock band Kasabian, who caused mayhem when so many people came to see them that the stage had to be closed owing to crowding concerns. It is known that Glastonbury executives instructed partners to restrict the number of celebrities invited this year due to concerns that the event would lose its down-to-earth roots. However, it didn't appear like anyone told the upscale pop-up club Soho House, which was charging £34 for Sea Bream.